Good morning, all my friends from Arrington, Coombs, Hilliers, Whiskey Creek, and Meadow Wood. This morning, I'm here with my partners from ACRA, Aerosmith Community Recreation Association, and I'll let you introduce yourself, Christine. Hello, my name is Christine Stevenson, and I'm a recreation coordinator with ACRA. I'm very excited to do a craft today. Tracy, over to you. I'm Tracy Cargo White, also a recreation coordinator with ACRA. And yes, Susan, I think this is one of my favorite crafts we've done so far. I'm Susan Pierce, and I work for Vancouver Island Regional Library at the Parksville location. And this morning, we are going to make a pocket pal. This is a sleeping bunny in a carrot pocket pal. And you can use this little pocket pal for the story time that we have created with this set of videos for family day. So what you will need for creating this pocket pal, you can make the pocket pal in felt, you can make it in uh, colored paper, or you can make it with white paper or construction paper. So first, we have a template for all of the pieces for the pocket pal that we have uploaded to the ACRA website. If you don't have a printer or you can't download this to cut out the template, you'll see that the carrot is simply uh, triangles. So you can just make triangles for those. And you'll see that the uh, bunny is actually just two interconnected circles. So you can make those on your own. And you don't have to make this complicated stem. You can just cut out straight strips from a piece of paper for the stem. So if you do decide to use the template, you can just cut those out. Once you've got your templates cut, you can put the template onto either felt or paper and trace those. And then you will cut all of those templates out. Once you have all those pieces, we're going to assemble the pieces now. So what you can do with a white glue uh, stapler or tape is to take your smaller triangle and glue it onto the bigger triangle and make sure to leave a hole in the center for where your little rabbit's going to go. There's my completed carrot. And um, I am using tacky glue today, which is a special type of glue that is used for fabric and felt sometimes. Excellent. All right, the next piece that we're going to make is the bunny. So if you've decided to make the bunny as a finger puppet, you'll have two pieces cut out. So you're going to put them back to back and then you're either going to glue or you can staple around the outside of the bunny. If you're making him into a finger puppet, you'll need to leave a hole at the bottom for the finger to go in. A final looking bunny in paper with staples can look like this, or if you made it in felt, can look like this. As well, if you are finished gluing the bunny, you can also put a face on him. So he can be a sleeping bunny or he can be a wakeful bunny. And his face can look like this. All right, so now we've got a carrot ready and we've got a bunny. And now we're going to stick the stem onto the carrot. So I had mentioned you can either use the template of the stem or you can just use little strips. You're going to glue them to the top of the carrot. Perfect. That looks amazing. Now you're going to take either a pipe cleaner or a strip of ribbon or something like that. And you're going to make a little hanging holder for the bunny. So you can put the ribbon or the pipe cleaner on either side of the top of the carrot, right there and there. And then you're going to glue it or staple it or tape it there. Okay, there we go. Amazing, Christine, that looks fabulous. 
<laughs> that looks so awesome, Tracy. All right, so now you're ready to put your finished bunny inside of your carrot and your sleeping bunny pocket pal is completed. <laughs> he looks so cute. So I hope you'll use your sleeping bunny pocket pal for the story time, the bunny and hanging garden story time. And we hope you enjoy your pocket pal. Thanks all my friends from Arrington, Coombs, Hilliers, Whiskey Creek and Meadowwood for joining us for this tutorial on how to make a bunny pocket pal.